up you guys Shay Niche here back with another video so today we're going to be taking down this Coily Q human hair illusion install that we did now if you haven't caught the other videos make sure that you check them out there's two that came out before this one being the install, two being the master class, just to show you in detail the kind of knots and things that we use in order to create our illusion and our parts and our knotless parts and everything in between. So make sure that y'all check those videos out. And of course, leave a comment, any questions or whatever on this video or any of the other ones. Y'all know if you've watched my review, I absolutely love Corley Q hair. What they did is just phenomenal to me. Um, yes, it's a little pricey, but it's human hair and it's actually worth the money because they make it where the hair is reusable. And that is like bonus, bonus, bonus. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I take this out to make sure that you guys don't run into any issues when uninstalling your hair and you can wash it and tie it up and put it in the closet for next time. So let's get right into it. So basically what you want to start out with is wet hair. Now, whether that's you using a spray bottle and spraying it down really good or you getting in the shower or putting your head in the sink, whichever. You want to make sure that the hair is really good and damp, okay? There's reasons behind that. We'll get into it. You can try to remove this dry if you want to. Um, but for me, it was easier to do it wet. Now, if you have not used the illusion method when installing this hair, then removing it dry is probably gonna be simple. So, you know, no worries, you can do it dry. However, if you use the illusion method, then we need wet hair. The next thing we need is leave-in conditioner, okay? Not the creamy stuff, not the oily stuff, but leave-in conditioner that you can spray on the hair it would be best for it to be water-based. It can be oil-based if, if that's all that you have. Because I'm definitely an advocate to use what you have instead of going out to buy other like unnecessary things. However, if you have a water-based leave-in conditioner, that is going to be the best option. Okay? So, with that being said... Um, even if you have conditioner, you know, like this in the squirt bottle or something like that, take it and put it in the spray bottle with the water or however you need to just make sure that the hair is really, really saturated with water and leave in conditioner. Now, if you could leave that sitting on your head, if you have time for a good five to 10 minutes, okay, five to 10 minutes. After you have let the hair sit for five to 10 minutes, then you're going to go back in with your spray bottle. Let me say this, you know, I am an advocate for using what you have, but if you don't have a spray bottle, that is the one thing I would advise you have. Okay. And that's not even just for the takedown during the install and while you're wearing it, you want to be able to wet it down and put conditioner on it and stuff like that. A spray bottle is just essential. Um, when you're dealing with human hair, hell, when you're dealing with synthetic hair, like it's, it's super important to have one spray bottle. Okay. So regardless of if you mix conditioner in it or not, doesn't matter. Just re-moisten the hair because you want to make sure that it is really, really slippery when we are getting ready to remove it. So basically when you're removing it, you can use a rat tail comb. I would have one handy. Um, you know, just in case you need some assistance, but for the most part, you can feel around. Um, if you've had this install or you've done this install, then you've probably had some kind of other crochet in before, um, more than likely some braids or some locks or some Havana twists or single ease twists or, you know, whatever, all those other ones, right? Um, when you're taking that down, you feel for the loop and then you pull at the loop, right? That's all you're going to do here. That's all you're doing. Um, if for some reason it feels a little tight, 
and you can't get it to um, loosen up, that little sliding part on the strand, that little black part that slides up and down the strand, if you feel for that and tug at it a little bit, it'll loosen up a little bit more and you should be able to slip those strands right through the loop. It's very, very, very simple. Um, if you come into one that like the illusion area apart, your perimeter, things like that, that um, you teased, the only thing that you're going to do different is you're going to comb it out a little bit. You're going to comb it out first. Before you try to remove it, you're going to comb the strand, detangle it as far as you can, and then you'll feel for the loop and then you'll pull it out. It's just that simple. So, um, that's all you do. So basically I'm going to just finish taking this out. I'll let you guys watch and see how simple it is. Um, and yeah, that's it. You guys just make sure that you wet it down really good. Try to find a water based conditioner, a spray bottle, a rat tail comb, just in case you need it to like get up under a loop. Sometimes, you know, we can't get our finger in there quite right. But other than that, that's it. The part that's the illusion, the parting, the perimeter, detangle it first, um, all the way to the top, you know, starting from the bottom, work your way to the top. And once it's detangled, feel for the loop and pull it just the same as you do all the other ones. Okay. Now, let me say this. This hair is soft. It's human hair. So you don't want to tug on it too hard. They will snap. They will snap if you are not careful with it. It's human hair. I snagged a few of them because I'm used, you know, I'm queen synthetica, you know? And so I got to pull in like it was a fiber on a couple of them and it snapped. So <laughs> heed my word, <laughs> be careful and keep in mind that you are dealing with human hair. So when you're, you, if you find one that's kind of hard to take out, all you do is make sure that the strand is detangled good, make sure that it's wet down good, feel for the loop. If you need to pull on the little black slidey part to pull it down some, do that. Um, if you can't get a grip on it good, use your rat tail comb to get underneath the loop and then pull but do not just get in there and start grabbing and, and going like it's just, you know, a piece of plastic or something. Cause it's not, it's not going to work for you, sis. It's not going to work for you. So other than that, this hair was very easy to take down. Um, just keep in mind that you're dealing with human hair. Um, I didn't have to cut any out. Everything slid out just the same as it should. Once you take the hair out, you can... Put it on a string, put it on a straw. You ain't got to put it on nothing as long as those loops are in there. Um, and you can wash it, brush them out, and lay them on a towel, let them air dry, and then put them in whatever little storage thing you want to and have them for the next go round. So, shout out to Coley Q because this hair is absolutely amazing. Um, very good quality. I absolutely love it. And I love the versatility of it. Um, and I love that we can do illusion installs with this hair. So yeah, big shout out. Y'all go check them out. The link's down in the description box. Go check them out. I'm telling y'all they are worth it. Okay. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Oh, mm -hmm.
Thank mm-hmm. you.